Dynamic Island and the design of the iPhone 14 Pro is basically the same as the iPhone 13 Pro. As for the 48MP main camera upgrade, which is a notable boost on the 12MP camera of the previous iPhone. But I'm not persuaded it offers an enormous update over its ancestor. Because Apple's computational photography is so great. If I needed a higher resolution camera, I'd probably take out my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Video is great on iPhone, but I'm not convinced there's a huge step up from the iPhone 13 Pro to the 14 Pro. The iPhone 14 Pro has Apple's new A16 Bionic chip. But I am sure that no one would notice the difference between it and the iPhone 13 Pro's A15 Bionic in everyday use. Putting all this aside, my iPhone 13 Pro is also still a brilliant phone. It's so user-friendly and I have no real desire to stop using it as my daily phone. So I'll be waiting for the iPhone 15, with its tipped USB-C port and hopefully more dramatic upgrades, iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Ultra We've also heard about a possible new periscope lens that could finally give the iPhone lineup a powerful zoom.